Hello everybody. Uh, we were doing some evangelism, my brother Wally here um, and myself, and uh, praise God it was going well. And what you'll notice whenever you do street evangelism um, is that you'll run into cults. You'll run into groups that proclaim false Christs. Big time. Yeah. Um, and in this case, we ran into, we saw some people, what we thought were sharing the gospel. Yes. And we're like, oh, that's probably cool, maybe from some church or whatever. Um, talk to, end up talking to one of them. You guys, you know, believe Jesus is God? Yep. We're like, oh, pff, we're, we're good, you know, no worries here. Uh, Brother Wally probed a little bit deeper, thankfully. Yes. Turns out there's a group um, from the Church of God. Church right? of God, yeah. Um, who believes in God the Mother. Mm -hmm. And we ended up talking um, with them. And what did the, the one of them say you needed to have eternal life? What did you say? Um, he basically was saying that um, you need God the Father and God the Mother in order for you to have salvation. So they were preaching another completely uh, gospel. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, um, of course, one of the most powerful verses is in 1 John which helps spiritually helps you know you have eternal life which of course is absolutely important um, but also apologetically yes. this is really where you find can really find out if someone's part of a cult or not yes. um, in first John you read about you know the Antichrist that have come and in first John chapter 5 uh, verse you can go 11 through 13 and it says this first John 5 11 through 13 and this is the testimony that God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. Amen. So the emphasis there was if you believe in the true Son of God, Jesus Christ, um, who is fully God, um, the eternal Creator, God's son, you have eternal life, and yes, and you don't, yeah, and you don't need um, something else besides that. No. So, um, is anybody keen to you and tell you otherwise? You know they're lying. You know they are preaching another gospel, and that's basically what we saw all the time. Yep. So, just wanted to. We'll make some more videos. Yes. Um, go through some verses. Yes. That they were showing us because we want to help you guys too. Um, you know, God can use this encounter, even though it's kind of messy, mm -hmm. for His good. So we yes. want to—we're thankful that God allowed us to have the opportunity, and we want to help you guys be equipped. Yes. Um, so, yeah, yes. praise God. Anything, anything, guys. Like, uh, we're here for anything that you guys need. Any information about the cults? Uh, Mark uh, have a book based on that that you guys can find it on even on Amazon Amazon cold shop it, yeah even cold shark so it's very good that you guys get that book so that way you guys get prepared so what you're gonna encounter um, out there because there's plenty of them so there's plenty of them and we need to be active we need to be involved with the culture we cannot um, it said that bad people can accomplish a lot of stuff in the meantime that um, good people are not doing anything mm. so we need to fight the good fight mm -hmm. and we need to preach the gospel the real gospel of Christ in love but preach the truth no lies no anything preach the truth the whole gospel nothing more but the gospel absolutely praise God yep so just hope that encourages you to go out uh, preach the true gospel um, and remember that God is always with you um, you'll encounter Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons, Church of God, a lot. And so we just got to stick to the Word of God and rely on the Holy Spirit um, to guide us to the scriptures we need. Yes. I, yes. You know. Yes. That's I, the way it is. Absolutely. No more, no less. Yep. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching. Hope this encouraged you. God bless. God bless you guys.